is where the red chair is. Everyone should have a big red chair and a best friend like Joe and a squeaky book and a food bowl. Oh, look at little Joe. <laughs> look at what a cute baby he was. Oh, no. He's grown up so fast, Wanda. I mean, I can't believe he graduated from eighth grade yesterday. Next year, he'll be in high school. High school? That was a long time ago. So long, I almost forgot what it was like. Last night, I was rummaging around the basement looking for my old high school yearbook. I wonder what high school will be like for Joe. Oh, I'm sure Joe's headed for great things. You bet he is. I taught him everything he knows. Wait a minute, what's that strange smell? Ellen! Ellen! What is it, Wishbone? Something smells funny in the house, and it's not me. Sorry to bother you folks, but we've got a broken gas line in the neighborhood. Oh, no. It's not safe for you to stay in your homes right now, so we're asking everyone to please evacuate these few blocks immediately. Evacuate? Oh, my goodness. Everyone? It'll just be for a couple of hours, ma'am. Oh, I need to go down to the Chronicle, Ellen. This is news. What about my babies? Everyone, ma'am, especially the kids. I met my petunias. No need to panic, ma'am. You can head into town if you like. We should have it fixed by dinner. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess we can head down to Pepper Pete's. Oh, okay, well, you go ahead and I'll meet you there later. Okay, great. Joe. Okay, don't panic. First things first, I'll just get my stuff. Come on, Chair. We're gonna go to Pepper Pete's. Wouldn't that be fun? Chair. Come on, squeaky book. Don't worry, Chair, I'll be back for you. How do you like that? One minute I'm all comfortable and happy, the next minute I'm driven out of my home. You know, the hero in a book called The Aeneid was forced to leave his home too. The Aeneid is an epic poem written around the year 19 BC by the Roman poet Publius Virgilius Maro, Virgil to his friends. It's the story of a noble hero, Aeneas, who leads his people all over the map in search of a new home. Our story begins in the city of Troy, at the end of the Trojan War. The Greek enemy came up with a pretty clever trick. They built a gigantic wooden horse and hid their soldiers inside it. Thinking the war was over, the Trojans wheeled the horse inside their city walls. In the early morning, as all of Troy slept, the horse opened up, and boy were the Trojans in for a surprise. Meanwhile, the all-powerful gods watched and planned the fate of the mortals from up above. Oh, let me out, it's hot now, let me out. Despised Trojans, <laughs> feel the wrath of Juno, queen of the gods. <laughs> the fateful day has come. Troy is doomed. Oh, Jupiter. <clears throat> Great controller of the skies. Why do you allow my favorite, Aeneas and his people, to be defeated? Venus, dismiss your fears. It is Aeneas's destiny to be driven from Troy so that he may go to Latium to be the founder of a great empire. Then I must wake him. Aeneas, awake! You must flee Troy and save your people. Aeneas! Awake! Huh? Five more minutes, Mom. I was having a really weird dream about a horse. Whoa! What's that sound? Oh no! The Greeks are back! I must defend my beloved Troy! Come and get me, cowards! You face the wrath of it! Ow! Aeneas! Defender of Troy! And as soon as I get outside, I'll do terrible battle with... This is not working. Aeneas. Yeah? Why are you disobeying my command? Um... Your king is lost and Troy is in flames. Oh. You must take your people to safety. Oh. Well, that, that kind of changes things. <gasps> my father! Troy is lost! We must flee! No, Aeneas. I am old. This is my home. No, Father. We must go and seek a new place to call home. It is the will of the gods! <laughs> now 
want a double pepperoni with mushrooms. And I want some breadsticks. Hey, guys. How are you, man? All right. Hey. Hey, there you go. This must be the place to be. Oh, I know about that, Ellen. Can you believe it, guys? A gas leak. Well, it looks like we're going to be here for a while. Yeah. Hey, Demont. I guess you got evacuated, too, huh? What does it look like? So where are your parents? They're busy. Hey, guys. Some drinks in the house for a couple more of the refugees. Thanks, Sam. Hey, one for you, too, Wishbone. Mm, good start, Sam, but where's the pizza? Hey, Joe, isn't it great to finally be out of the eighth grade? Yeah, I almost forgot with all this excitement. Next stop, high school. Ah, high school. Do they eat pizza in high school? Hmm? It's gonna be great. There's gonna be all these new people to meet and so much new stuff to do. So much homework. I hope we're ready. Of course you're ready. You guys aren't puppies anymore. It's time for some new adventures. It's time for some food. My bowl's empty. Sam! <laughs> Don't you want some more to drink, Wishbone? I'll get it. Thanks, Sam. You kids are gonna love high school. I know we did. Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> Do you guys remember choir practice with the Lucas twins? <laughs> <laughs> they were so funny. Oh, and how about the year we all went to homecoming wearing Hawaiian shirts and sandals? Not me. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. No, you were there. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Oh, you held your... Ooh, thanks, Sam. Oh, no, 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 no. This is more water. Wishbone can't drink any more water. Wishbone would like some pizza. Pizza. Oh, things sure have changed since we were in high school. We're not uh -oh. that old. <laughs> I remember sitting I think right I need to go there. outside. Oh. Joe! Joe! I gotta go outside! Oh, I tell you, I really envy you guys. You've got some great times ahead of you in high school. Ooh. Don't think about water. Don't think about water. Don't think about water. For seven long years, Aeneas tried without success to reach Latium, his place of destiny. But the cruel gods tossed his ship from port to port. Poor Aeneas' father died just before a terrible storm drove the Trojans to a place called Carthage. Aeneas would have to find his destination on his own. You will be safe in Queen Dido's kingdom, my son. I will send my messenger Cupid to shoot her with a magic arrow. And the queen will fall in love with you. This is some prime real estate. I mean, yeah, it's all rocky and dusty and there's no water inside, but it would be perfect to have a great big palace right here! <laughs> Easy, boys. What? What is it? Oh, they've already got a great big palace right here. Well, let's go check it out. Come on, boys. Come on! It's nice decor. Not what I would have chosen, but still very nice. Ooh, fellas, I think I smell a buffet. Let's go. Pick it up, boys, pick it up. Oh, greetings, fair queen. I am Prince Aeneas of Troy. Oh, unhappy prince, I know the sad tale of how you were driven from your homeland. I, too, was forced to leave my country. But now I'm building a new home here in Carthage. <laughs> What, what is it, Queen Dido? Are you unwell? I have never felt so well. Oh, Aeneas, you must stay here with me as long as you like. I will have a feast prepared in your honor. A feast? That's even better than a buffet. Come on, boys. My dearest sister, what has come over me? I feel as if I've been stung by Cupid's arrow. 